Now we are at the last step, customer purchase history and finalization. In this uh, tutorial, basically what we have to do is that this is the invoices button that we created on the shopping cart. When the user clicks on this invoices button, he should be taken to the list of all the previous invoices generated for him. This is called purchase history and there the invoice number, the date, the amount, tax, total paid and the detail. This will take him back to the invoice page where he can see the detailed invoice or take print out or whatever he wants to do. So this is the thing that we have to do uh, right uh, we have to do right now. So let us uh, come straight to the project. And uh, here we have to add this invoices uh, page to the uh, users pages double click it and double click the backing class also it is nothing that has to be done in this we have to simply display the list of uh, items on this page and uh, first of all we have the logger then project context the dependency injection the list of invoices that has to be shown on the page and after this when the page is loaded in the on get method we extract the phone number of the logged in user and if the phone is not there redirect him to the log off part so that he can log in again and then we have this invoices collection it is obtained context invoices where for this phone number order by descending on id to list async and uh, this list is then displayed on the invoices page nothing special it's simply purchase history and these are two menu items that take to view cart and uh, to the scan uh, page where he can scan new items if he wants. This is an HTML table, invoice date, amount, tax, total paid. This all story is in for each loop. In the for each loop we have the ID, the invoice date, tax paid, tax paid and that's all. And on the detail he is taken to the invoice page where the ID is sent and that invoice page we have already covered in the previous tutorial where he can see the invoice on the basis of the ID. So this completes the project. You can run it on your own. I'll show you this module. When we log in, uh, this is the shopping cart, the home page of the user and here is the invoices connection button and it shows all the list of invoices that were done by this user and on the detail page you can see the details of a, a particular invoice. So this completes the project and uh, I think it's quite a good project for even commercial use if somebody can put this idea into practice. It can be done one way or the other. So I'll close it right now. Thank you.